I'm on Rottnest Island, just 20 kilometers off the coast of mainland Australia. And although only 100 humans live here on Rottnest, there's another inhabitant, a much cuter, furrier one, that makes this island famous. It's been called the happiest animal in the world, and it's so cute, it's been taking the internet by storm. So I'm here to meet this popular marsupial, and hopefully to take a selfie with a quokka. Just two hours after landing at Perth Airport, I walk between the train station and the port at Beachhead Fremantle, from where ferries shuttle visitors across 18 kilometres of water to Rotnest, or Rotto, as the Aussies like to call it. There are bikes galore available for hire, and this is undoubtedly the best way to get around Rotnest, which has plenty more to offer than just smiling little animals. But if it is the quokkas that you're here for, there's a free walking tour each afternoon to give you some insight into the world's happiest creature. Quokkas are incredibly good-natured creatures, and while there's plenty of other things to do, see and buy here in Rotnest, it's capturing the ultimate quokka selfie that seems to bring tourists here in their droves. Proud and Phil ain't going to believe that, are they? No. <laughs> That's what they said, get a selfie with it. Yeah, I think the fur's a bit better. Dry here, everything's my size. <laughs> It's rare to see them out and about during daylight hours. They tend to appear just as dusk is approaching and in the words of the local tourism agent, you will be tripping over them in the settlement at nighttime. I think this might be the easiest quokka selfie yet, but these guys are desperately trying to get a little daytime nap, so let's have a go. Even when they're not trying to sleep, quokkas aren't exactly elusive. But I fast realised that while getting close to most quokkas is a piece of cake, capturing that ultimate selfie certainly isn't. Hey buddy. Oh, there we go. You want to take your own selfie? <laughs> Not quite. I have loved these last two days on Rotnest, not just trying to get selfies with quokkas, but basically just being in their company. They're incredibly gentle and self-assured characters, and that over-friendliness is sometimes taken advantage of. Earlier this year, a French backpacker was convicted of setting light to a quokka. Can you believe it? Also in the 1990s, there was an unnecessarily popular game called Quokka Soccer. No explanation needed. In high season, Rotnest is a busy little place, and as quokkas are a critical part of both the island's ecosystem and its economy, a balance must be struck in order for humans and marsupials to exist in relative harmony. Even during daylight hours when they really should be sleeping, there are always a couple of urbanised quokkas sneaking around cafes and feet in search of a snack. It's important to note that touching and feeding the quokkas is strongly discouraged, not that they make this easy for anyone with a heart. So, mission quokka complete. I've had a great time on Rottnest Island and now, with my phone loaded up with quokka selfies, I'm heading back to the mainland. I'm hoping this guy will sort my life out. Okay, here we go. <laughs> So I'm just uh, just hanging out here with my mates. No big deal. Hey, what do you want to do tonight? You want to just smile. Smile a bit. <laughs> <laughs> 